Hello family, my name is Angela Aite. These are the items I used in making a homemade incubator. So let's go. After getting my items, the first thing I did was to create a rectangular opening in the box. So this procedure serves as an opening, through which you can look into the box without necessarily having to open the entire box. The next thing to do is to turn the box over to its side and create a circular opening that is similar or the same as the head of the bulb where you fix the bulb. After creating that space, you turn the box over. Then fit the head of the bulb through the hole to see if it fits perfectly and insert your bulb. Aluminium foil is then used to line the inside of the box with the exception of the floor of the box. This will help the box retain enough heat. I put water in a bowl and place it under the bulb to help with the humidity levels in the box. And then also I, I lined the floor of the box with wood shavings. And then I placed my hygrometer slash thermometer reader inside the box. You remember the rectangular space you created at the front? I used cello tape, a clear one, to line that side so that the place isn't open for air to just go inside. And the last thing I did was to place my eggs inside. These are actually guinea fowl eggs. You can use any other type of egg. Please note that humidity and temperature are very important factors in incubating eggs. So make sure to keep your eggs at the required temperature for that particular type of egg. Thanks for watching. I'll be giving updates on how my eggs are doing and also giving you the various requirements of temperature and humidity for different types of eggs. Thank you.